Good day, you absolute legends. Welcome back to another edition of Update News. Now, today's hot topic is that fishing has just received a massive nerf, which means if you're using bait specifically for catching a certain type of fish, things have changed quite drastically. So make sure you watch this video till the very end in order to get all of the latest information and what baits to now actually use. But before we do get into today's video, ladies and gentlemen, can you please just make sure for me that you are indeed still subscribed to the channel? The reason being is, as we all know by now, it's a massive problem that YouTube goes ahead and unsubscribes you, the viewer, from your favorite YouTubers without your knowledge or consent. So can you please just make sure for me that you are indeed still subscribed to the channel. If you need to resubscribe, please do resubscribe. Or if you have been watching me for a while, you like what I do, then why not consider hitting that subscribe button? You definitely will not regret it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right on into today's video. So ladies and gentlemen, since the update, we still have all of the standardized lore that you can make right now within your inventory, such as mealworms, magpole lures, uh, dangling lures, and so on. We still have all of those, but what about the stats? What has changed about the stats? Because there has been a lot of nothing and rebalancing done. So straight away, if we have a look at mealworms, we can see that right now we have a catch rarity improvement of 30%, a catch size improvement of 2%, and where it says other notes, we have an A, which just basically means non-applicable. So it just basically means that you can use it in any condition, whether it be stormy or normal weather, you can use it across the entire board to get the same sort of uh, fish. Up next, we have the bionic low with a catch rarity improvement of 94% catch size improvement of 2% and in other notes again NA which just means we can use it in all weathers but the catch size improvement there of 94% is incredibly tasty indeed. All right moving on to the next one we have the wonderful dangling. Next up we have the dangling orb which gives us a catch rarity improvement of 35% a catch size improvement of 2% and in other notes it attracts daytime fish so if you're on the day side time of the planet make sure you use this bait and you'll get much better uh, odds than if you used it on the night side time of the planet, essentially. Um, moving on up to the Shadow Law, same sort of thing, but it's only for nighttime fishing. 35% catch rarity improvement, catch size improvement of 2%, but it is for nocturnal specific fish. And with this bait, you'll get different types of fish as well on the night side if you just used it normally anywhere else. So... If you're looking for a certain type of fish, then use this one. The Mag Pulse is wonderful at 35% improvement with a catch size improvement of 2%. Uh, so that's obviously the catch rarity as well, 35%. Other notes is attract storm loving fish. So that means if you are on a stormy planet, you have to wait until one of those big mega storms come in. Then you can use that lower and it will then give you storm specific fish that you'll only catch during storms and with the bait that you can only use in storms. Now, not a lot of people knew this in the last video, which I was actually quite surprised about. And we'll talk about how this has changed now since the update. So you can go ahead and put into your bait box any fish that you do catch within the game. Now, instead of going up to Kronos and feeding it in to obviously get nanites or uh, putting the fish back to receive nanites or even selling up at the space station for units, you can put it in your bait box and it does give you certain improvements. Now, between C, B and A classes, it all depends on the fish within those categories. But this is a kind of like a generalized idea of what, what each class um, will give you an improvement for rarity and catch size. But remember, it all depends on the fish, so it might be higher or lower than what I'm about to say. So for C class, so for C class fish, it'll give you a catch rarity improvement of 10%, roughly, and roughly a catch size improvement of 22%. Again, depending on the fish, it can go higher or lower than that. B class fish, I'm just using this uh, stash fish that I caught here. It goes a little bit higher, obviously. Catch rarity improvement around about 22%, and the size improvement goes up to 6%. But when you get to A class, it does jump quite much, like more significantly than that. So just for this colossal shrimp here, A class, again, just an estimate, depending on what A class you use, it'll give you an improvement of higher or lower of 48% for rarity and size of 26%. And the best thing about all these is you can use them in all weathers, you all say on other notes and A, which means you can use them on day side, night side, stormy weather, calm seas, you can use it all. So fantastic. Now, another thing that a lot of people didn't know is you can actually use other 
things for fishing. For example, you can use more diet, you can use carbon and condensed carbon. And they all have exactly the same stats. So you can see you get a catch rarity improvement of 6%, catch size improvement of 2%, and you can use these in all weather. A lot of people didn't know you could actually use these ingredients just for fishing just outright. So that's just something good to know if you ever just want to go ahead and use some random carbon for fishing. Now, next up is where we get into the more specialized baits, the more specialized stuff. This is where you'll need to go and gather ingredients, put it into your uh, nutrient processor and physically make the food. But by doing so, you are getting vastly superior numbers. So for example, with the seafood stew, we are getting a catch rarity improvement of 40%, catch size improvement of 3%, and you can use it in all weathers, which is absolutely fantastic. So up next, we have the caramel encrusted cake. Now this gives us a catch rarity improvement of 9% and a catch size improvement of 23%. And it is for nighttime fishing. So you'll get bigger nocturnal fish by using this. Next up, we have sweetened proto butter. Now the catch rarity improvement is of 52%, quite a dramatic bump compared to the standard stuff and a catch size improvement of only 3%. So that's actually gone down quite a bit in the nerf. Um, but you can use it again in all weathers. Next up, we have the Caramel Curiosity, a 12% rarity improvement and a 41% size improvement as well. So you are going to be catching a lot more heavier fish. But this one is for daytime fishing. So you will get the bigger fish with the chance of getting A class and S class fish with this in the daytime. Okay, last but definitely not least, we have the cheese and flesh stew. We have a catch rarity improvement of 73% and a catch size improvement of 7%. And this one you can use in storm, like stormy weather, stormy seas, storm loving fish. Um, again, it's for those very specific fish, but use this over the mag pulse one and you'll have a much better time if you are in the stormy weather scenarios. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comment section down below. Did you know about these changes? Have you been experimenting with baits and fish? What is your heaviest fish that you've caught? Let me know your numbers in the comment section down below and let's see who has caught the heaviest fish. Now, ladies and gentlemen, one last note is obviously there's going to be a lot of nerfs, a lot of buffs, a lot of balancing because fishing is so new to Norman Sky. It's a brand new concept and it's a brand new area for the team at Hello Games. So there is going to be a lot of balances, a lot of nerfs, a lot of buffs. However, there is currently an update pending in the internal branch on SteamDB. It's been there now for the last three days and nobody really knows what exactly it is. Now, it could be a lot of more balancing tweaks and options, which is why it's not been released yet because we're trying to probably see how this is all working first over on experimental and the public branches with the new uh, nerfs. But we'll see if anything else is changed on that. Or it could be indeed a much bigger update because the last time they held on to an update it actually turned out to be an actual major update. The last time we've seen something like this in internal branch. So it could also be that, but it's too way too early to tell. So unless it goes over to experimental and we get patch notes, then I'll keep you updated as more as much as I know about what is going on with that. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that to you. But ladies and gentlemen, that is everything from me here today. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical, and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.